Hello everybody, Luke back once again. This time to break down everything we know about the just announced Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl. Now this is another Super Smash Brothers clone type game coming out, this time with Nickelodeon characters. And even more fun, you'll be able to find a lot of the 90s and 2000 Nickelodeon show characters in this game. Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl is a clear attempt to cash in on the love for fighting games tied to classic shows or classic games. In this video, we're going to be breaking down everything we know about this game, including when you should expect it to come out. First though, if you're new here, do me a big favor, help us grow this brand new channel. We try to dive in, do all the research for you, find all the details, and then make very easy to understand quick videos like this so you don't have to do the research yourself. Now, if you enjoy this, help us grow, hit that subscribe button or hit that thumbs up. That lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. Hopefully we can help you learn something new. All right, let's dive into this. Everything we know about Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl. Now, if you love classic Nintendos, you're going on to probably be pretty pumped about the opportunity to fight and play as a ton of classic characters from classic shows and even to more recent shows out there. Not only will you be able to play as classic characters, but also in classic stages based on classic shows with the fight through. The game clearly takes directly um, from the Smash Brothers world. Even when you're fighting and you knock people off the screen, it's got that kind of same exiting the screen mechanic you find from the Super uh, Smash Brothers games. Now, there will be a single player game you'll be able to play through all by yourself or play in the same room with somebody, but there's also going to be online play, which is very important for a fighting game nowadays. I think if your game doesn't offer online play and you're a fighting game, you're kind of left out. I don't think that's a lot of replayability in today's day and age. I think people really do want multiplayer for a long um, extended game. This game will have it. Now, there's a lot we don't know about multiplayer. We don't know, for example, how will the matchmaking system be? This game was just announced. We have the teaser trailer and a bunch of basic information released. But that's one thing that we don't have yet, unfortunately. We're going to keep a close eye on that and post updates as we learn more. Now, the good news is, though, that there will be multiplayer. That will add a lot of depth to the game. You'll be able to uh, play with specific friends out there or go through a matchmaking type system or online uh, meeting to go play out there. Now, there will be a lot of characters. There's a lot of interesting omissions. Now, classic shows like Ah, Real Monsters, Hey Arnold, Rugrats, SpongeBob SquarePants, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, The Loud House, Ren and Stimpy, and more will have characters in this game. But for example, with Ren and Stimpy, Powder Toast Man's in the game, but Ren and Stimpy are not. Now, I will say this game is ripe for DLC, right? You buy it, and then maybe later on you can buy Ren and Stimpy. Now, I'm going to be a little upset um, if when I get this game, I have to basically pay for all the good characters. Hey, Arnold. Well, Arnold's not in it. Uh, Rugrats, only one character's in it. SpongeBob SquarePants does have a few of the big ones, including SpongeBob SquarePants, Patrick, and Sandy, to name a few. But you only have two of the Ninja Turtles, for example, in this game. You don't have the others. I really think that I'm going to be upset if on day one these are all the characters and I have to pay on day one to get, for instance, all the Ninja Turtles or Ren and Stimpy or Arnold from Hey Arnold. It kind of seems like a weird selection of characters to include. I kind of hope that maybe a few more characters will be announced before this game comes out, which is very possible. There's a lot of things we just don't know about this game and it's very possible we just haven't seen all the characters yet. But if they come out on day one with DLC that includes all the most popular characters and they're selling this game for $49.99, a full price game pretty much. If this was a $29.99, a $19.99 kind of game with a ton of DLC you had to buy to get specific characters. That wouldn't bother me so much, especially if they're all balanced right. If not getting the characters doesn't mean I'm at a huge disadvantage, I would probably be fine with that. We'll have to wait and see how that plays out. Now we do have a release window for this. It's fall of 2021 for $49.99. It'll be available on the PlayStation 4, PS5, Xbox, Xbox One, Xbox S, X, all that fun Xbox series is. This on Nintendo Switch and the PC. For now, the game is targeting a October 5th, 2021 release date. We're getting pretty close. That's probably pretty close to what it will be. Always possible with video games, delays happen, things change. Who knows what could happen? But the good news is the game is on its way. It is very close. It's another one of those games that don't get a lot of lead up to it. We find out about it. We're going to have to wait and see what happens. 
I'm going to keep my fingers crossed that we uh, get this game when it comes. I'm actually kind of excited about it. I think this could be a lot of fun. The graphics and the gameplay looks very smooth in the trailer. And I love the fact that it's bringing classic 90s and 2000s Nickelodeon characters back. Just a little disappointed in the character lineup. We'll have to see what that actually looks like when we come out. Again, very possible they announce additional characters before the release. I would almost expect that. If they don't, and on day one they have DLC with all the good characters, I think that's going to hurt them. I don't think that will be well received. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. I'd love to hear from you. We'll be back with another video like this soon. If you like this video, help me out. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up. As we try to break down everything we know about new games, we do all the research for you. We condense it down into easy, quick little videos like this to help you out. Help us out. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up. Check out our back catalog. We've got about 100 different um, videos now in the last few months breaking down different games like this one. Thanks for your support. I'll be back with another video real soon. Take care, everybody.